So if Flight 93 didn't go down in Shanksville, then where? You ready for this? Cleveland. At 11.43 on September 11th, WCPO, a local TV station in Cincinnati, Ohio, reported that two planes landed at Cleveland Hopkins Airport due to a bomb threat. United Airlines identified one of the planes as Flight 93. Are you confused? Well, it gets better. Check it out. At approximately 10 a.m., Cleveland Hopkins Airport was evacuated amidst rumors that a hijacked plane was going to land. Passengers had to leave, but couldn't drive. They had to walk or hitchhike. Buses weren't allowed to leave. People were sent home. According to Associated Press and local Ohio papers, one plane landed at approximately 10.45. But Delta Airlines confirmed that their plane, Delta 1989, landed in Cleveland at 10.10. Therefore, Flight 93 landed at Cleveland at approximately 10.45. Authorities searched Delta 1989 for over two hours, and passengers were questioned individually. The plane dealer reported that the plane was evacuated at 12.30. But the Akron Beacon reports that a plane was evacuated at 11.15, which would make that Flight 93. Mayor White reported that the plane had 200 passengers. But a passenger from Delta 1989 described 60 or so passengers. So at 11.15, 200 or so passengers were released from Flight 93. The passenger from Delta 1989 states that she was taken into FAA headquarters. But other reports say that passengers were brought into the NASA Glenn Research Center, located near the west end of the airport, which had already been evacuated. So, to sum up, Delta 1989 landed at 1010, was evacuated at 1230, almost two and a half hours later, and 69 passengers were taken to FAA headquarters. Flight 93 landed at 1045 and evacuated within a half hour. 200 or so passengers quickly taken to an empty NASA research center. Why did it take 140 minutes to evacuate 69 passengers when 200 were evacuated in a half hour? We can assume that the passengers from Delta 1989 are safe somewhere. The question remains, what happened to the 200 or so passengers from Flight 93? It's interesting to note that the combined total of all the passengers from all four flights is 198, or 243, depending on who you ask. We may never know what really happened to Flight 93, but we do know what didn't happen.